Whoop gang, whoop gang, what's good? It's your boy B Ferris with another video. Look, it's early in the morning. I wanted to go ahead and get do this video before the sun came out. It got too hot for me. Actually, like it might be raining outside soon. Yeah, it's gonna do a little something. But today, I'm gonna go over my C8 mid engine Corvette 2020. So, it's gonna be a quick video, but I'm just, you know, give y'all the basics on it. Let y'all know what I ordered, how I feel about the car so far. Whip gang, let's get it. Love the big baby in here. Yes, sir. Uh, make sure y'all go follow that page. Hit the subscribe button right now. Give it a good old start up real quick. I'm gonna show y'all these keys in a second. So I'm currently at 758 miles. Um, I did hit the break-in period. So I did get a video of that as soon as I did it. So I'll make sure I upload that. And I'm just pull this out. Uh, I might pull it out in the street. And knock this quick video out. I guess we start on the inside. Um, so, this is my 2020 mid-engine C8 Corvette. Had this car now for a couple weeks, and I'm in love with it. I mean, I have no problems at all. This is the 1LT model. So, we got the black area here for the bowls instead of that silver that's on the two and three LT models. Got your unlock button and lock button here. You got your latches for your front and trunk here. Um, you got your little vents. They blow good cold air. It's also mine. You got your passenger side vents there. So with the 1LT, I went with the um, red seats. I will get out so y'all can see it better. But the red seat belts also. So a lot of people don't know that I got the red seat belts. Luckily with the 1LT, and I'm so thankful, I um, appreciate the Chevy, that they did the red stitching with the red, with the 1LT. So I got red stitching all throughout the car. With the 1LT model. Got your own start and everything like that. Got your lights on each side. Where you change your modes here, you got a little knob down there at the bottom. You got the traction control button here. You got the transmission dials at this point. Park, reverse, click up. Neutral, you hit. Drive, you click up. Then manual mode, click the button also. Start stop button. With the radio, you got your home screen, so you can be in anything in here. Hit the home screen button and it just goes right back to your home screen. So let me just change this to tour mode. So it does go to tour mode and then you can hear that exhaust kind of, you know, idle out at a little lower rate. Go back to track. Well, go back to sport. Then we got the track mode also. Tell you, if you're still waiting on your car, you're going to enjoy it when it gets here. I was watching other people say that, and I was like, nah, like, I want my car right now. I, I need it, but I'm telling you, it, it's worth the wait. 
and I, you know, I sound like them because I got my car now, but it, it actually is worth the wait. You got your Z mode here. Now I set mine up so, you, you know, somebody pull up on the red light or right beside you. You don't have to go through, you know, modes, turning this. Hey, hold on, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Let me turn this to my mode. Hit the Z button. And automatic, you know, everything changes and the Z mode lights up. So, of course, the top does come off. You only got three latches. You got one latch there, one here. Then you got this nifty little switch. All you do is hit this while holding. And then it's, it's that simple. Top comes off. It stores in the back. I'll show you where that goes. Close that back up. You got a speaker right here and you got that engine right there behind you so you can be driving i'm driving i'm driving i'm cruising if i just want to be like i'm at the red light i want to see my engine i just turn around and look at my engine it's about the best thing of this car right here that and the power of course a lot of people be riding but like, man how do i get out of this car it's been right there get on out of here But yeah, my 1LT C8 Corvette. Right now, go subscribe to the page. Like, share, comment. The page is growing. Like, it's growing. So I appreciate all the love I'm getting, all the support. So just keep on doing it. Just keep doing it. Let's go. So, like I said, this is the 1LT model. The color is torch red. I went with that because, like, that is my favorite color, if you guys don't know. I got a red Lexus, got a red Challenger, then I got a red Jeep. I went with the five-spoke, the open carbon wheels. Also went with the bright red brake calipers. This is a none Z51 car. Uh, still rides great, rides smooth. 19 inches in the front, 20 inches in the back. You got your nifty little gas cap here. That locks when you lock the car, so that's the, the neat thing about it. I do have the performance exhaust on this car, so that is an option that I upgraded for. I got the black Stingray instead of the chrome or silver, black letters, and on the front also. I mean, after that 500 mile break-in period, this car really is a lot of fun. I mean, like a lot of fun. You haven't cleaned the inside out yet, so, but you know you have a nifty little switch right there to pop your front. Gotta make sure I start saying that right, your front. <laughs> And, it, and it's deep, like it, it's good and deep. I gotta vacuum that out when I take it to the shop in a few minutes. But yeah, you can put a good size suitcase in here if you wanna travel. Take the C8 on the road somewhere. Like I said, the red seat belts, the red GT1 seats. So I did stick with the GT1 seats in this car. That red, that red stitching makes it, makes it look a lot better, man. So for your actual engine compartment, you know, your hood, that I will say, you got the button right under the E of the Corvette. And also your backup camera. So yeah, with that, with the 1LT, I do not have the um, rear view mirror camera. And here we are with the LT2 
V8 engine, naturally aspirated engine here. Right at 495 horsepower because I do have the performance exhaust on this car. So we're pushing right at 500 horsepower. Well, 495 and make sure I say that correctly. Lots of fun. Um, I haven't launched the car yet. Yeah, I know. I know it's like you haven't launched the car yet. You hit your 500 mile braking period. You don't have not launched the car yet. I will soon. I might do it today. If it doesn't rain, I might launch this car today and see what kind of zero to 60 I will get. People have been getting 2.6 seconds zero to 60 in this car. Hopefully, I get down to it. I be. I mean, I believe I will because same as that car everybody else has except it's not you know it's none z51 car my top speed is actually faster than the z51 car my top speed on this car is 194 miles per hour 194 miles per hour yes on this 2020 mid-engine c8 corvette And basically because all of this air goes right into the engine. I mean, it's, it's just how they designed the car. Like, they designed it to the T, man. So with this, I didn't get the, um, the engine appearance package, but I will be putting some lights in here so I can just turn it on whenever I want to. With the engine appearance package, I think you gotta be like in park or you know something like that or have the um the hatch up to be able to have the lights you know shown on the engine so i'm gonna get some aftermarket lights i don't know if i'm gonna set them up here or you know maybe on this bar but i know that heat is gonna be a problem and it's gonna get wet so i gotta make sure i get the right thing for it but you can see the interior you know through the glass there and this glass is very thick between the engine and where i sit i mean i can't feel any kind of heat or anything on the inside of this car like it doesn't feel like the engine's behind me so you know that, that glass is very thick that they put between it so i didn't do the uh 500 mile oil change it's not recommended on this car they said, you know, you can go the whole 7,500 miles before you do the oil change on it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just stick with that. Um, a lot of people change their oil at 500 miles to get that break in oil out, you know, but I'm just do pretty much what the book tells me to do at this point. I'm just waiting till 7,500 miles and do the oil change on this car. But I guess I can go ahead and take the top off real quick, but... I've gotten to the point now I can take this top off in 30 seconds, you know, minute top. <laughs> Cause that very first time I struggled hard. <laughs> I needed five people to help me out and everything, but I mean, it's simple. Like I said, those three latches that I showed you earlier, pop those off and the stores in here. Easy, great. I got my towel when I have my jeans on to sit on the seat, so. Let me put this in the in the front real quick. That's down there in the front. I'm gonna take this top off so y'all can see it, you know, topless. <laughs> and I'm gonna store it back here so you can see, you know, how much space is actually taking up at that point. But with the top, when you have it in the back, you still can have stuff under it. Here, bags, towels, shoes, like stuff can still store under your top while it's in here, but then you also have your front space if you got your top off. So let's get this top taken off real fast so y'all can see how it looks. I'm gonna let the windows down a little bit. I'm gonna open up the visors and let's get it. Something on, don't, don't mind my outfit. <laughs> I'm 
see if I can do it with one hand. It's time for me to wake up a long one off of my phone. But I'm gonna try to do this with one hand so I can hold the camera still. But just make sure that each bottom is down inside of there. My shoulder said I need to turn this car off. Oh. Yeah, make sure that it's down latched in at the bottom. And you just gotta give it a good push so they're gonna latch your nose. So I know you guys heard that. So at that point, the car I mean like that is down in there. It's not going anywhere. Doesn't matter what speed you go. So tops off. Close the door up. And now, you know, you got the wind in your hair. Tops in the back. It's a fun car, I tell you. Y'all will enjoy it when y'all get it. So look, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button right now. So the page is growing, like I said, hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. Another giveaway coming soon. This thing here is amazing. Amazing, amazing. These are 305s in the back. I don't know if you have to show the guy this before. That is your um your parking brake. So a lot of people saying you got two brakes, you know, two brakes on the back. I'm like, no, that's the brake, and this is like the parking brake, you know. So it's a button on the inside that you can just hit the car on or off. So you can hit that button right there, and you can hit that button right there, and the parking brake will actually, you know, activate at that point, but. Let me close this down so y'all can get a, another shot of the car. Soft close. You can see how they closed up. You don't have to slam that one. Just get it close enough to the bottom. With this one, you do have to latch it. So drop it down like this. If you can do one click, it's not closed. Do one more click, it's closed at that point. I've been seeing videos of, of people been saying that they're Front popped open on them and they were driving. Make sure that it's closed down first. Like that's the main thing. So yeah, I probably just heard the horn go off. My door just locked. That's a setting that you could do. Um, both keys were in my pocket. So you can set that up in your screen that if you close the doors and walk away, that the doors are automatically locked for you. So that's a good setting to have, you know, something real neat. Man, look at that right there. It's still, it's still crazy. Like, I still be driving right now. Like, I'm in a mid-engine Corvette. I'm in a C8 2020 Corvette. And it, it still feels unreal to me. Like, it's fun. Like, I be at the gas station. I'm at work. Just driving down the street. People looking. That's a Ferrari. No, it's the Corvette. The mid engine Corvette, that's what they see. <laughs> see my flags, right? It's flags, baby. But nah, like, for, I mean, it's fun though, you know. I'm just driving. I know every if I could turn left, turn right, and look, somebody's giving me a thumbs up or that car is amazing. That car looks great. And I appreciate it. I mean, you know, it's just my main thing, you know, you, you work hard, you play hard, go get what you want, you know. That's all we can do at this point. Just just work for it and go get it. This, this is my little baby. So far, I've got offered um, 10K over what I paid for it. I'm not, not letting go for that, you know. Wait, wait long enough for it. Now, if somebody give me some crazy offer, then I might think about it. So, hey, reach out to me if you want this 2020 mid-engine C8 Corvette. Torch red, red seat belts, red seats, red brake calibers, <laughs> red stitching. But it is fun, like I said. 
it was just a little quick video, you know, going over the C8. I wanted y'all to see the options that I got with the car. And I think that's all I got with it. Um, might have missed something. I might have my sheet next time. I probably should have my sheet this time. Let me open everything up. So you guys can get a, another view of it with everything open. My neighbors love me. C8. That is a crazy looking car. <laughs> I, I still don't know how Chevy did that. And for that price range. But I, I'm thankful for it. Like, I'm not complaining at all. I promise you I'm not. But here we are, guys. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Like, that's the biggest thing right now. Subscribe if you're watching. I'm gonna have a whole lot of CA content, whole lot of CA content. And also, this Saturday, I will be attending a car meet. So that video will be coming soon. Make sure you watch that one. Subscribe to the page, hit the bell. When you hit the bell, oh, the dog's going crazy. You hit the bell, that's when you're gonna know when I upload the video. And it's gonna be a good one, I'm telling you. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take the Challenger, so the Challenger will be going with me. Um, probably not going to take the Jeep this time, but there's going to be some other cars with me. It should be a Hellcat, Scat Pack, Hemi Charger. Uh, should be a Mustang with us. It should be a couple cars, man. So hit that bell because when I upload their video, I want everybody to make sure they watch it. But signing out, Prince underscore Whips, A7 No. Whoop gang, we did it. The C8 is here. I love it. But enjoy the day. Let's get it. We're at 499, gang. So, like I said, people blowing at me. I'm going to go from here to somewhere in this range. And all my power will be. Released at that point. So we're at 499, so I'm gonna just leave it on here until I hit that 500. We're gonna see what it does. This is killing me. Hey, red seat belts too. I gotta tell y'all about that part. When I'm ready to get all this power, man. About the, there we go, 500. Wait for it to change. Should see it drop in a minute. Come on, now, get it on in there. Give me my power. Ready for all the power. Least, baby so it goes to 55 at that point so I hit my 500 mile mark the car is finally open now finally open 500 miles so like I said it was here but now we have dropped to 5500 so hey 